key is the homeless gloves. Dexterity. We need a anchor sponsor, and I have lips like a woman, and I'll do what it takes to get that sponsor. But we don't compromise the art of trauma dance, only my ability to perform fellatio. Interestingly enough, our cameras were actually able to catch the birth of one of these so-called parasite festivals, although not in Park City, but rather here at the Asheville Film Festival in Asheville, North Carolina. We know that one of the main reasons we're doing this is obviously to generate tourism dollars. The businesses are really all about it, the um, Convention and Visitors Bureau because of our tourism component, and that's, that's really how we got here. This film festival really has become more of a marketing tool constructed by the Asheville City and Parks and Rec Department, the people that organize this thing, to kind of extend the leaf season and to keep the tourist dollar here a couple extra weeks. I mean, our baseball team here is called the Tourists. It's obvious who this thing caters to. I'm really happy to receive this word from Jan Mancini. When I was watching the clips, I, it suddenly occurred to me if God hadn't invented the push-up bra, I would not have had a career. We're very clear that we wanted to obviously honor independent film, and that was the main focus of the festival. But our concern was being run by city government that it needed to have a mainstream component. <laughs> I don't know if that, this is an honest answer. I don't know if it's the politically correct answer. That's really one of the reasons why we developed a Lifetime Achievement Award or a Career Achievement Award, to have that draw. My first Career Achievement Award. <laughs> I actually do have quite a body of work because I work like a dog. You have to have a mainstream component, especially if you're, you're trying to grow and, and bring dollars into your community. I mean, not everyone is into independent film. Asheville was built on a counterculture element here. This is the Asheville Film Festival, but they only have 13 movies from North Carolina and only two or three that are actually from here in Asheville. So we thought, well, why not stage a thing for all the people that didn't get in? If there's going to be cinema-minded people, you know, and video files here and people that love movies, there should be something else that exists that's outside of what the city parks and rec department decided what was good and what wasn't. The festival we wanted to call the Asheville Film Festival Rejects. Did quite a bit of extensive flyering for it and were contacted by the city attorney Bob Ost. If we didn't cease and desist by 10 a.m. on some day, uh, they were going to sue us. We changed our flyers and we changed the promotional stuff and whatever and, and adhered with their thing because, I mean, we don't really have any money to do this. Uh, you know, they're, they're expecting to gross uh, $3 million this weekend from the film festival, whereas, well, I mean, you've seen our setup, we're taking probably a thousand dollar loss. Since everybody's a reject, everybody gets an award. We've got the uh, gold VHS, you know, 24 karat spray paint oh, mounted nice. onto uh, that's a, that's well, our picture frame daily. For our best in show, we're giving the spray painted platinum award out. We screened all of our own stickers this year. My buddy, um, Hans, he welded this together for us. Uh, this is a uh, 50 gallon drum that he cut apart. And then this is part of my uh, 1979 Toyota Corolla, the only thing that's left of it now. Our event is free. We're giving free champagne, free cigarettes. After Bob Ost was going to sue us, we decided to call it Trashville Film Festival. I mean, it sounds kind of crass, and I hate to offend the locals and the people that have lived here, but I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of like a. I've heard about this, I think it's called Trashville Reject Festival in North Carolina. Uh, my wife is from North Carolina, uh, which is why I've never set foot in that state ever again. But um, no, no, just joking, just joking. That is a joke. Lloyd Kaufman definitely was a major independent movie pioneer. And uh, if it weren't for him, I don't think a lot of things would be happening, really. God bless him, and that's great. And I hope, uh, you know, maybe they'll reach out to Troma. Maybe I can get down there. Thanks, Lloyd. Appreciate her, buddy. You come to Asheville anytime. You stay at the agency, film labs. We'll have some drinks. Talk to them. This festival's a success, and that's why there's a reject <laughs> festival. You know what? If, if they can get their message out in another way, I think that's great. And if it just so happens to coincide with our festival, so be it. The important thing is keep your dignity. That's what's important.